We also have something called a Dear Colleague Letter. Program descriptions, Dear Colleague Letters are, to my knowledge, really not used in the same way by my other federal agency partners. We use Dear Colleague Letters a lot to say we've got an existing solicitation on the street. But we really have a focus area that we're very interested in receiving proposals in. And we are very interested in you submitting this type of proposal to this particular solicitation. They're great opportunities, particularly if that's an area that one of your faculty members is very interested in. Dear colleague letters are also used to let you know about calls for proposals that are referred to in the PAP guide. So we have uh, a number of types of proposals that you could submit to NSF, but the bottom line is that they may say such and such uh, directorate is very interested in receiving early concept grants for exploratory research in the following area. We have had an Ebola outbreak. We are interested in receiving RAPID, which stands for Rapid Response Research. We are interested in receiving RAPID proposals to address this aspect of Ebola. We've done it. We also do often many times when there are uh, major natural of events um, like uh, very large uh, earthquakes, the earthquake in Haiti, for example, um, uh, other areas where they are particularly hard hit. Uh, we also do these for anthropogenic or human caused. We did a huge call for both rapid and eager proposals for the Gulf oil spill. So they may just let you know, here's something that's happened and NSF is interested in these types of proposals. Submit them by X date. So that is another reason we use a Dear Colleague letter. We also often have supplemental uh, funding programs we'll, where we will say, we will give you supplements. Um, we're interested in we receiving uh, a sup supplemental funding request in the following areas, and we let you know what that area is. So those Dear Colleague letters are issued uh, quite frequently throughout the year and you should pay attention to those because often they're highlighting um, areas of science that we want you to submit to a, a given solicitation or a type of proposal that NSF is particularly interested in receiving proposals in.